Hi everyone, in this video we will solve example 1.2 from the book Applied Thermodynamics Make on KNT Disturbs. Here is the statement. Unit mass of a certain fluid is contained in a cylinder at an initial pressure of 20 bar. The fluid is allowed to expand reversibly behind a piston according to LR PV square is equal to constant and the volume is double. The fluid is then cooled reversibly at a constant pressure until the piston Regain its original positions. Heat is then supplied reversibly with the piston firmly locked in positions until the pressure rises to the original value of 20 bar. Calculate the net work done by the fluid for an initial volume of 0.05 meter cube. We saw the pressure P1 that is 20 bar initial volume v1 that is 0.05 meter so here some condition is provided the volume of the piston is expanded by this formula pv square is equal to constant so it follow the law pv square is equal to constant until the volume is double so it means that the v2 is equal to 2 times of v1 so multiply to with this 0.05 and you will get its value that is 0.1 meter again next we need to draw the pv diagram for this statement so here is the pressures and on x axis there is a volume so initially the pressure is p1 and then expansion is taken place and then the pressure is dropped to P2 and it follow the expansion process by the law PV square is equal to constant PV square is equal to constant this is statement 1 this is 2 here the volume is V1 and here the volume is V2 the fluid is then cooled reversibly at a constant pressure until the piston regain its original position. So regain its original positions mean that the system come back to its original volume. So that is V1 at a constant pressure. So the pressure is constant and the volume reaches to V1. And then in the next condition it says that the position is locked and position is locked mean volume is constant and then a heat is supplied such that its pressure reaches to its original value so this is again it's reached to 0.1 so 2 to 3 and then 3 to 1 and we need to find the network output during this process so process 1 to 2 all of the path PV square is equal to constant. This is a constant pressure process, this is a constant volume process. So we need to find the network of this diagram. So the work done from 1 to 2 that is equal to work done by the system and 1 to 2 and then pressures the change in volume. So the P is equal to is equal to from this formula it is C by V square so in term of this P write its value that is C by V square dV so this C is constant take it outside it is minus C 1 to 2 is 1 over V square dV so that these integrations of this 1 over v square is equal to minus 1 over v if you didn't understand how you will find the integrations of 1 over v squares you can check my first example solutions its um, solution link is given in the descriptions you can check from there so i'm just writing its integrations now and it is minus 1 over v and limits that is 1 to 2 
So work done from 1 to 2 is equal to C and the limits 1 over V 1 to 2 the limits now apply the limits 1 by V2 minus 1 by so first we need to find the constant value V2 value is already determined also V1 value is given so C value so C value is equal to V1 V1 square what is P1 that is 20 bar V1 that is 0 0.05 square and after simplification you will get its value that is meter cube per kg square so V2 V1 and C value put in these equations we get the work done by the system from process 1 to 2 Newton per meter. Say it's equation one. Next work is done. Process two to three, and it is equal to pressures and change in volume. So the pressures is constant here. That is. So we need to find its value and the change in volume is V2 and V3 so V2 minus V3 is the change in volume. So this is P2 and the change in volume is V2 minus V3. So P2 value is not determined yet so we need to find first its value. We can say that P2 v2 square is equal to v1 v1 square but also v2 v2 square is equal to you know that v2 is equal to two times of the initial volumes so the square and then v1 v1 square so it become P2 and then 4 V1 square and then what is P1 value that is 20 bar by V1 square. So this V1 square will be cancelled out with this value. Divide both sides with 4. So we will get P2 value and it is 5 bar. So just put this value in these equations. 5 into V2 value that is 0 0.1 and this V3 value that is equal to V1 and it is 0 0.05 so it is 5 bar so you will multiply with 10 to the power 5 so after solving on calculators you will get its value that is 25,000 Newton meter. So this is work done on the system. And the process one to two is work done by the system. So the net work done, the net work output you will get that is some of the work done in this is one to two plus work done in process two to three. From process 1 to 2 it is minus 50,000 and process 2 to 3 it is plus 25,000 so after its additions you will get the network output that is minus 25,000 newton meter this is our final answer so I hope you understand if you still have any confusion you can ask me in the comment sections if you haven't subscribed my channel subscribe and click on the bell icon if i upload any videos related to thermodynamics fluid mechanics and heat transfer so you can get it its notification on the family basis thank you so much